My name is Craig Muth. This is a presentation about Zikki and some of its Rails features. I did this presentation at the San Francisco Rails Group. It wasn't videoed, so I'm making this screencast out of it. Most Zikki screencasts will be a bit shorter than this one. The homepage of Zikki is zikki.org. That's Zikki with an X, as in executable. Zikki is like a shell terminal, but better. When you think about why people like shell terminals versus why people like graphical user interfaces, we as developers love that it's easy to create commands for shell terminals. Since everything is text in and text out, we can, in just a few lines of code, create something useful like a rake task. Graphical user interfaces, on the other hand, are loved by users because users get something to click on and look at, like menus and buttons, which makes them a lot easier to, to get up to speed uh, in when compared to shell terminals. Shell terminals really haven't changed uh, fundamentally in the last 40 years. We all know how shell terminals work. There is a prompt at the bottom. This is a, a shell terminal. You type commands and you press return and the output is appended read only. And after, you're, after you've typed a few commands, you end up with uh, a bunch of read only text with commands interspersed. So Zikki tries to improve on this. Zikki takes some of the advantages of shell terminals and combines them with some of the advantages of graphical user interfaces. In Zikki, everything is raw text, like a shell terminal. But you can create clickable menus, like a graphical user interface. This presentation is being done from Zikki, so you're looking at Zikki right now. Zikki is very wiki-like. That's why it's called Zikki. There are text syntaxes uh, for things, like uh, dash is the syntax for a bullet. Greater than is the syntax for a heading, and a dollar sign is the syntax for running a command. You can type commands anywhere in Zikki, unlike just at the bottom, like a shell terminal. And when you're done, uh, you double click or type command enter to run the command. And you can double click again to collapse it. Output is editable in Zikki versus read only in a shell terminal. If you run this command and then you decide uh, that you should have had an option, you can actually edit the command as well because everything is editable. You can add, add something, modify the command, double click again to collapse, double click again to run it. And because everything is modifiable in the output, you can remove the stuff that uh, you don't care about. And you can add notes. And if you make something useful that you want to use later, you can save it to a file and open it again. In fact, everything in Zikki is uh, done in text files, in, in plain text files. Uh, this encourages you to distill down uh, the output to the important stuff. So when you finish, you've got something that's, that's concise versus uh, a long uh, list of output like you normally get with a shell terminal. Here's a use case to illustrate this point. Let's say we've made some notes about how to run commands in Rails, and we forgot how to generate a resource, and we want to look that up and run the command. There's a keyboard shortcut you can run that will show you all the headings in a file. Headings just begin with uh, greater than. You can type to narrow down to uh, the heading that you want, and you can command enter or double click to 
jump to it, and then you can double click here to run the command uh, in case you forgot the, uh, the way the parameters are supposed to be. Another use case, let's say you've got some notes for uh, your Sharks project. You can run a keyboard shortcut and zoom in on uh, the heading that you want to uh, use. And here's a, a command that will clear your, your cache. Most uh, projects have tasks that are repeated over and over. This is one way of, of making a quick way of, of rerunning commands. I should mention there's a built-in uh, keyboard shortcut in Ziki that will just let you see all the recent shell commands that were, run, that were run in a directory. So here are all the recent shell commands that were, that were run in the, the project directory for sharks. And I can type to narrow down. Uh, I just typed Rails to narrow down to all the, the Rails commands. Uh, Emacs is used by Ziki to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Don't and, and uh, Ziki runs inside of Emacs, but don't worry if if that scares you. You don't have to know anything about Emacs to use Ziki. You can uh, just type and double click. Ziki isn't limited to just shell commands. Far from it. Uh, you can type code and double click on it in Ziki. You can type paths of files and directories and double click on them. You can type URLs and double click on them. You can type SQL statements and double click on them. You can type uh, commands beginning with a uh, percent if you know they're going to take a while and you want them to re run uh, asynchronously. And if you want to shell out to uh, iTerm to have it run a command, you can use the ampersand. I'm going to move the window over so you can see the browser. You can type something like this to do Google searches. You can type something like this to give the browser JavaScript to run. And this is kind of silly, but you can type music notes and also drums to play. You can type something like this to start your default Rails app. Let's let that start up. You can type something like this to run code in the context of your Rails app. So as far as how to define these things that you type and double click on, it's sort of like Rails routing. You just provide a regular expression for a pattern to match and some code to run in a block. It's the simplest way I could think of to do it. So let's say you've got a line that has a bunch of A's and you want this code to run when you double click on this. If you, uh, if you run this, then the next time you click on this, it will run this code, which just appends to the end of the line. Check out part two of this presentation to see how menus can have other menus nested underneath them and to see some more uh, sophisticated examples.